Don't let the passion of your emotions lead you to sin. Okay? Don't let the passion. And, you know, it's not that we can't be passionate about things. It's not that we want to walk around like zombies. I mean, God gave us emotions. But he gave us emotions to submit to him, not to control us. Okay? And I can remember years ago, yes, I was a crier. You can ask my mother, if you looked at me sideways and I thought you were upset with me, I was bawling. Okay? How well would that have done in the ministry? Whenever we get to love unlovable people that can just be mean sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I've been, I'd, I'd be bawling a lot. And when we first started, I, I was, to be honest with you. I, the Lord had to toughen me up a little bit in that area. But, you know, I, I, my emotions, it was just like I was either really happy or if I thought somebody was upset with me, I was really sad. So it was just this emotional roller coaster. And, uh, yeah, my emotions were definitely leading me. And that's not a good thing because it just kept me in a place of torment. So I can remember sitting at my kitchen table, and I'm like, okay, Lord, <laughs> we got to do something about these emotions here. All right, <laughs> because it's, it's not, I'm not having fun right now with them. And uh, I said, so Lord, I choose, you know, I don't want the roller coaster anymore. Uh, you know, I want to be passionate for you, but I'm just, I need my emotions to be, you know, a little, it's okay, but you know, not, you know, that type of thing. And I'm just like, Lord, I just, I surrender them to you. I, I give them to you. Help me, Lord. And you know, he just, when you're very emotional, what happens is you make everything about you and how it affects you and how it makes you feel, okay? And then you begin to realize as you grow in the Word, okay, it's not about how I feel. Lord, how do you see this situation? How do you see this person? What do you want to do about this situation, Lord? And then you take a step back. I mean, I won't say that it still doesn't prick a little bit like, that hurt. But, you know, you, you're able to step out and say, okay, God, wow, I don't fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. How do, we, how do I need to deal with this? You know, not make it all about me, not make it all emotional, but how do I deal with this, Lord? All right, so don't let the passion of your emotions lead you to sin. Don't let anger control you or be fuel for revenge, not even for a day. Don't Give the slanderous accuser, the devil, an opportunity to manipulate you. You see, what happens when we let the emotion, when we let anger come in, all we're doing is opening up the door for who to manipulate us? The devil. I mean, we may think, oh, people are just trying to take advantage of me. People are trying to manipulate me, you know. Who's, who's really trying to manipulate you? Come on. Yeah, that's right. Let's get it straight. It's the end. I'm, I won't say that he doesn't use people, huh. <laughs> unfortunately. And I really hate whenever I open the door and let him use my mouth sometimes. Come on, let's be honest. You know, we say things that we shouldn't have said, and, you know, out of hurt, out of whatever, and we shouldn't have said it. Why do I know that? Because verse 29 says this, And never let ugly or hateful words come from your mouth. <laughs> but instead... Let your words become beautiful gifts that encourage others to do this by speaking words of grace to help them. 